Fox has released a number of interview clips with Fantastic Four director Josh Trank and writer-producer Simon Kinberg discussing the cast of the new movie. Trank revealed that Miles Teller had previously auditioned for a role in Chronicle and thought he was amazing. The pair also said Kate Mara landed the role mostly because of her family chemistry with Michael B. Jordan. Kinberg went on to talk about the family dynamics in Fantastic Four, saying the following, I remember the first time I read a Fantastic Four comic and all the dynamics that are like good and bad that are part of being in a family or playing out in a comic book, and I had never really seen that before. Schnepp, hearing about the cast and dynamics, do these interviews affect your anticipation level for Fantastic Four? Yeah, in fact, they just rise, they raise the, the bar for me. Like now I'm even more excited to see the films. They're like, you know, to hear someone like Simon Kinberg say those things about the original Fantastic Four comics is exactly what I liked about it. it had that kind of fun playfulness and family element but not like the way the movie versions the fa- the first two fantastic four films mm. went a little too comedic and broad it was more so like wouldn't it be weird if like these people who knew each other all of a sudden became mutants you know or mutated and and stuck together and, and became a family you know so i'm looking forward to that and i really liked what trank said about the chemistry between uh johnny storm and sue storm as brother and sister and that's why he cast those actors i think that like you know erases any other thoughts that people might have about the situation and i and i liked also hearing about ben Grimm, and he's going to probably have a lot of hidden anger and because the thing imagine if you just turned into a creature like that looks like a bunch of rocks don't think you'd be too happy about it so i think there's unless it was like the rock Right. If you if you suddenly <laughs> mutated, they suddenly look yeah. like the rock. The rock, like Dwayne okay. the Rock Johnson, then you wouldn't have that many complaints. You might be like, Friday. I just, yeah, <laughs> I just <laughs> want this one tattoo removed. That's about my only, just the one to keep the rest. Just that one. I don't know. I don't know how many complaints. I probably no complaints. But uh, anyway, yeah, I think the, the interview was great, and it's just a good precursor to actually seeing the film now for me. I, I completely agree. When the more you hear and the more we learn, like everybody knows, I, I was I had negative feelings about this project first. F- first of all, because the first two are so yeah. bad, and then they they decided to go the route of the Fantastic Four babies, and I didn't like that at first. But you know, honestly, ever since that, everything I've seen and everything I've heard has been positive. Blogger Doctor Doom, notwithstanding. Um, but I, I'm, I'm, st- I'm willing to give them the benefit of the doubt and see right. what they mean by that and how does that actually play out. The one thing that I, I think was Trank that said this, that was the most intriguing to me in this interview, was Trank saying, look, I've obviously worked with Michael B. Jordan before, mm-hmm. and I have always thought, and him and Kimberg just both started nodding, I've always thought that Michael B. Jordan, both on camera and off camera, completely embodies and epitomizes Johnny Storm. And that was exciting to me. Once again, taking away from the fact that his skin color, Johnny Storm being white or black is is, right. ha, is actually inconsequential to who his character is. Totally. Completely unlike, say, you know, uh, I, I don't know, Black Panther, <laughs> which, his, you know, the color of his skin is kind of relevant to who right. his character is. Kind of important. Kind of important. But Johnny Storm is not. And the fact that, they, you know, he nails who Johnny Storm is. Let's get him. I and, and understanding the family dynamics, I've gotten over the whole thing that him, now, all other things being equal, I'll still say this. I do. There's a part of me that kind of wishes they got an African American actress to play sister if they're going to go with Michael. But they've bought, they've sold me. I, I have bought into this whole that they're uh, adopted siblings at this point. And they can still pull off that family dynamic, which is no reason why they shouldn't be able to. So I'm with you. I I hear this and it even elevates my in- anticipation and excitement for this even more. Yeah, I don't care what his skin color is as long as he turns orange and it looks cool when that happens. <laughs> but I, I sat down to watch these clips and I was like, this is just going to be a puff piece. This is going to be obviously they're just going to say nothing but nice things about the actors and oh we're so excited about this project then when i watched it i was like you know what i did feel like they were being honest that they are really genuinely excited about this project because i've heard some rumors that the that the set wasn't that great to work on and that there was a, a lot of butting heads but this seems like you guys reference family and what did we just see a movie that references family that came out this past weekend yeah. made 143 million dollars at the box office and when you take elements that you it's like what you said Schnepp, kinberg really appreciates the source material and Trank really likes these actors in these roles. The one that stood out to me the most was when he's talking about Jamie Bell. And he yeah. said that Jamie Bell, because when you cast him as the thing, it's it's like, that doesn't really, he's not a big dude. I don't really get That's this. not Michael Chiklis. But he's got all this <laughs> anger inside of yeah. him and that he can make that come out. So I, I wasn't negative. I wasn't down on the fact that they were making a Fantastic Four film. I just didn't really care. Now I'm kind of intrigued. And I think we all are really curious to know John Schnepp, what is this movie going to make opening weekend? <laughs> I predict the Fantastic Four will make 
one hundred million dollars. <laughs> that that actually might that might I'm be not a more joking. reasonable one. That, that's yeah, a reasonable. No, I'm not one, joking because yeah. I think it's going to be a sleeper hit, and word of mouth will actually escalate the Friday to Saturday. I, I hope so. As long as it's good. As yeah, but good. I yeah, we were talking about that right before the show started. It's like, how can this Fantastic Four? not be good mm -hmm. i mean it's got all the right elements yeah I mean, they so they seem to you know what the other thing is there's still some people who aren't sure about kate mara playing it and you know what i went back and i rewatched house of cards season one a few weeks back if you have any doubts any doubts about kate mara go watch season one of house of cards it's on netflix mm -hmm. and then let those doubts be put to rest she <laughs> is a phenomenal actress who carries like when you get a girl who's got to get on screen a physically small girl who has to hold her own on screen one-on-one -on -one with kevin spacey and she does it you got something special i am I'm, I'm excited i'm getting more actually i'm beyond being yeah look i'm excited about this movie now i really am